Japan has issued a warning of a mega quake. Mega quake. Mega earthquake warning. Mega earthquake. So you might be planning a trip to Japan and the news of a mega quake or tsunamis might have you worried. It's only normal. After all, it's part of daily life here in Japan. And with a few tremors under my belt and the cloud of potential disaster looming, what should you do? Should you reconsider your trip or even worse, cancel it? In a country that experiences around 1,500 earthquake tremors a year, if you do ever experience one, you'll quickly realize how normal it is for the average Japanese population. During an earthquake early warning, which can actually be many times more terrifying than the quake itself, Japanese simply pause and continue their daily chores. Whilst tourists who are less experienced might panic, the tremor usually passes and daily life continues. And although the mega quake formal warning has now been lifted, it might be looming on tourists' minds. How do I feel about earthquakes? Deadly terrified of them. <laughs> yeah, I'm worried because uh, I had, uh, you know, uh, Tohoku uh, huge earthquake uh, experience. I was here when it was the 2012 earthquake. Definitely got PTSD from that, not fun. Earthquakes are a worry in, in any country. Um, I have them, I've lived through a bunch of them in LA. Some are very severe and some are minor. I actually experienced some in, in Japan uh, when I was in Yokohama uh, in uh, this last beginning of the year, I, I did go through one of them. And uh, we uh, had uh, lots of damages. So I'm, a, uh, um, you know, I'm very afraid of the asteroid. Traveling around Japan and you'll quickly observe that Japan is a country that seems to be on alert. <laughs> Look around you and you'll see signs like um, safety evacuation shelters, like the one that's over here, tsunami um, escape routes and that sort of thing. Japan is prepared. So when you're anywhere near the ocean, you're gonna find earthquake, tsunami, refuge sort of signs telling you to escape to higher ground. And whenever I'm traveling around Japan, I am spotting these signs and making note of where I should go in the event, in the unlikely event of something big happening. So just be aware that when you're traveling around Japan, please look out for these signs and make note of where you have to go. So this is actually an example of how well prepared Japan is in case of an emergency like an earthquake. In Japan you'll find many department stores and electronic stores sell disaster prevention supplies like the one that I'm in right now. They sell things like battery packs, heavy duty battery packs that will probably give you power for a few days, um, emergency rations, emergency supplies, anything that you think that you need for after a disaster like an earthquake, you'll be able to find. That just shows you how well prepared Japan is and how conscious um, these, these issues are in the minds of the Japanese. Some emergency um, packs here for after the disaster, it says there. This is quite interesting. These straps um, are so that your TV doesn't fall off the wall. You can mount it to the desk also. Do you have these things in your country, specifically for earthquakes? We've got flashlights. And there's even a portable solar panel, which is pretty cool, actually. <laughs> they sell gas cookers and obviously butane or gas canisters, just in case you need them, along with some miniature solar panels also. What's this over here? Oh, there we go. What's this? What is it? Oh, it's a power bank. Megaphones to attract the attention of people, I guess. A whistle, which I think is very important. And I'm actually buy one, to be honest, right now to have in my bag, because I've lost the one that I used to have. Things that will just help secure everything to make sure that your apartment is safe. Look at this. <laughs> this is literally just um, before you pay, just in case you forget some of those emergency supplies that you need. There are reminders of what to do and the fact that we are in an earthquake prone country all around you. Even here in central Tokyo, I'm in Ebisu and this is a map, a tourist map telling you where things are. But look a little bit closer and 
see what you'll find. If there is an earthquake, what you should do? People who have difficulty going home because maybe transportation is down, there's no power, etc. If you're coming from schools or companies or from stores or restaurants, what you should do? Go to temporary evacuation places, etc. There's even more information letting you know um, what you should do at the seismic intensity level. There's even more um, disaster information, a QR code. So, just here in the stairs, at the stairs here, just in this, in central Tokyo, um, there's a reminder that we are 15.2 meters above sea level. It's just everywhere, you know. If you start looking, you'll start finding lots of little hints and guides and things that you should do and, and that sort of thing in the event of an earthquake or a tsunami. The reminders are all over Tokyo and all over Japan. Japan is well prepared. Any building built after 1981 must conform to earthquake standards, ensuring that the structure can withhold an earthquake. I'm just I'm keeping my phone with me at all times, so in case there's a warning, I know the tsunami would be our biggest concern. And uh, yeah, I'm just keeping my phone always on me, so in case there is an alert or anything, I will be ready. Should be worried, but uh, don't stop. Uh, do activities or go anywhere. You know they should prepare for that. Uh, for example, if a uh, tsunami uh, will coming, uh, what what sh what you should do? So we uh, must go upstairs, like a mountains or a top of the buildings. Definitely, like looked up on like places to evacuate, like nearby me, or at least near my Airbnb. Other than that, I know to just stay like under a table or something. I'm not too sure what to do if you're outside. <laughs> it's a scary thing. <laughs> but yeah, definitely more prepared. Yeah, I think it's definitely something that's always in the back of our minds. But I personally have a strong confidence towards Japan's infrastructure. I think they've been through a lot and I think they've adapted. And I think in terms of you know the amount of funding that has gone into it, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of investment and time that's been put on it. And regardless of if it does happen, it happens. So. You know, it's just the way we move forward with it. So that's what I would have to say about that. I think all you can do basically is to prepare. So you have to know uh, exit strategy. I think in a lot of different things, uh, you have to have exit strategy. So if you're going into a building, if you're going into a situation, you're going to a train, you're going to the bus, how are you going to escape? When you're in a hotel or accommodation, it's important to know your escape routes, just in case anything was to happen. I always check at every hotel and you can usually find this at the door. Um, probably very similar to all other hotels all around the world, but I think that when you're in Japan, this is vital. It's vital to know your escape route, just in case. It's quite clear, um, usually, and it says, in case of emergency, please follow hotel staff and use emergency stairs. Do not use elevators in case of an emergency, obviously. And um, so this is my room, which is where I'm staying. So basically turn left and I can find the emergency exit. At every single hotel that I stay at, I always check so that I have a, a good idea of what to do just in case. I've never had to use this, thankfully. It's always good to hear what other tourists and travelers might do or think in the event of an earthquake. But here are some things that you can do even before you go to Japan. Downloading an earthquake early detection app like Yurikuro Call is probably my number one suggestion. In fact, I always recommend that you have access to an internet connection. So if you are looking for a data connection here in Japan, why not consider using my affiliate link with Sakura Mobile? You'll be able to receive a product that's trusted by the Ninja Monkey community, whilst at the same time, help the channel out and hopefully keep you extra safe. Purchasing a small whistle that can live in your bag can also be a good idea. And when booking a hotel, you might want to consider when it was built and its location, although many older structures have actually been reinforced. During an earthquake, remember to drop, cover and hold and keep away from buildings because there can be falling debris. Just remember to do your research and be prepared. This is not supposed to be an earthquake comprehensive video, but rather something to hopefully put your mind at ease. Japan's preparedness is a model for the world, but individual vigilance is just as important. It's good to have reminders like this one, but when you are traveling around Japan, you should be prepared, aware, and continue enjoying what this beautiful country has to offer 
don't let it put you off. Thanks for watching. I look forward to hearing what you have to say in the comment section below. Subscribe, turn on the alerts, no pun intended. See you soon. Stay positive and be happy, Gaijin. Bye. Please come to Japan. Don't worry. Please. And come. Uh, we are waiting for you.